I'd see him sitting on that couch all day long, just staring at that Hollywood hogwash. Our favorite show was Hollywood Hogwash. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Hollywood Hogwash. I'm Andrew Pisano, along with, and welcome back to the show, Eric Slamilton Hamilton. That's right. It's only fitting that I'm here, considering uh, we've both watched the movie twice. Yes, that is true. Yes. You know, we, we did our homework. We did. These Marvel movies, I like to watch them twice, because a lot of stuff happens. Right. And I, and I like to enjoy it the first time. You know, the second time, I take notes on my phone. Uh-huh. But I don't want to do that, like, the first showing, especially if it's, you know, one of the Marvel movies that I know I'm going to really enjoy. Right, exactly. So I'm glad I saw it. And twice. I always look for stuff that I missed in the oh, yeah. the first showing. And Right. I mean, we saw it together last night. Yeah. And uh, we were both pointing out stuff to each other that we didn't catch. Well, yeah, and, and you you saw some stuff that we were like, hey, we have to look for this yes. when we watch it tonight. And, and then we did, and we were like, oh, my God, that was amazing. Yeah. We're not going to give any spoilers yet, yes. obviously. That's, that's later. Yes. But first, we have to talk about the news and rumors around Hollywood. Oh, the Hollywood hogwash? That's right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Dave Chappelle was attacked on stage last week. Oh, boy. Uh, that was interesting. It and was. Man, his people fucked that guy up. Absolutely. The The video of him on the stretcher before going into the ambulance and his arm was bending the wrong way. Yeah. It reminds me of uh, a few years ago when that guy attacked Bret Hart on stage. Oh, yeah. And all those wrestlers came and just fucked the guy up. Right. As they're like one guy punched him in the yeah, that face. Was, that as was uh, Cash Wheeler. Out. Yeah. Just fucking uppercutted the guy <laughs> right. and knocked him out. Oh, my God. It was great. Yeah. But, you know, these people get what they deserve. Yeah. And, and people are pointing out like, oh, this is all because of what Will Smith did. And I mean, I don't know about that. People, you know, celebrities have been attacked before. Yeah. You know, John Lennon was shot. Right. And that was a long time ago, but still. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if this is because of Will Smith. Maybe it caused a new trend. Yeah. And I heard people talking about that. You know, it's like, does this is this going to make fans think it's okay to just yeah. go and attack someone if you don't like what they say? Well, the, the ironic thing was people said that the guy looked like Chris Rock. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Like, he kind of did. I only saw the video of, you know, him on the stretcher, but yeah. like he kind of looked like if Chris Rock got his ass kicked. <laughs> he was trying to get retribution for himself, I guess. Right, yeah, yeah. maybe, but... Yeah. Yeah, it's just, you know, fuck these people. Seriously. You know, the guy that was annoying Mike Tyson on a plane. Oh, my God, yeah. Like, I'm sorry. Like, it's not okay to hit regular people. Right. Let alone, you know, celebrities. And why would you ever try to pick a fight with Mike Tyson? Yeah. Like, I get it. He's older, but he could still knock the shit out of you. Of course. Yeah. He could kill you. Yeah. He could bite your ears off. We all know that's a possibility. It is. So don't do it. Especially because he made, like, little edibles in the shape of ears. <laughs> that's right. With a... Uh, with, uh, Edible company. Oh, my God. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so there's more stuff with the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial. This fucking circus. Uh, now she has taken the witness stand. And I'm pretty sure you've all seen uh, two videos of her. One where it looks like she did a bump of cocaine while on the witness stand. Mm -hmm. Like she's looking down and... It, you can't see what she's holding yet, but then she lifts it up and it's like a tissue. Yeah. And then she like, you know, like just kind of like she even plugs one nostril. In. Yeah. She plugs a nostril and it's just like, it was either cocaine or like, uh, some sort of, um, some like smelling thing that makes you cry. Like people were mentioning. Oh yeah. She yeah. wanted to like, look, you know, cry on the stand. There was a good meme I saw. It was like, she lie, she cry, but most importantly, she get high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I've seen like video of her talking and like none of it is believable. No. It, it's it's refreshing that no one really believes this bitch. Right. It, it's good. She should be in jail. Yeah. There was also a video where she's like wiping her nose and someone started like taking a picture. So she she paused and just like held it there for the photo. 
So she like posed for a photo op. <laughs> Hey, like, yeah, this is me crying. Look at me crying. It's like, yeah, yeah, no one believes you, bitch. Sorry. Go to hell. It's the worst. He better win this case. Yeah. The sad thing is, is like, he'll probably never get the money. Like, if he wins the case, they're like, okay, you owe $50 million. He'll probably never get the $50 million from her. Probably. And I think she also got half his money when they got divorced, because I don't think they got a, I don't think he got a prenup. Yeah. <clears throat> so she still has like half his money. Right. So maybe they could force her to give it, you know, give some of it back. But yeah, fuck that bitch too. Yeah. Also, uh, Thor Love and Thunder, uh, the teaser trailer came out last week. We saw it at Doctor Strange on the big screen. And that was cool. Again, it looks amazing. But writer, director Taika Watiti recently spoke to AP News to promote the film. He said, in my humble opinion, we have probably the best villain that Marvel's ever had in Christian Bale. And that's a takeaway from that teaser trailer was we don't we still haven't seen. Yeah, we haven't seen him in action. Christian Bale. Right. And we're two months from the movie. I mean, apart from some like action figures. Yeah. We haven't really seen him. No. Yeah. Like we have an idea of what he's going to look like. Right. But again, it's like. This is, it's Christian Bale, one of the best actors in the world. Right. Like top five, in my opinion. Who would you say is the best Marvel villain so far? Man. I mean, Thanos is up there. Thanos is, Thanos could be number one. Uh, Mainly just because the way he was voiced, I could almost say Ultron. Ultron. James Spader did phenomenal doing that. He, yeah, he was great, but I would say Thanos would be ranked higher. Yeah. Michael Keaton in Spider-Man Homecoming, I love. Vulture. Yeah, he was really good. Is this like any Marvel movie or the MCU? I mean, let's contain it to MCU. MCU. Yeah. Because, um, I mean, otherwise you would have to consider Doc Ock in Spider-Man 2. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, William Defoe as Green Goblin in No Way Home was pretty great. He really was. But I would still say Thanos is better. Thanos just did so much. He affected everyone. Right. Like, and all the movies going forward. Like, the multiverse, this is all because of Thanos. Like, I love that Thanos, like, actually caused real consequences. Yes. You know? Right. So, it's probably, Th- you know, I, I, it's probably Thanos. Yeah. I'm trying to think of some other great ones, but uh, for some reason I can't. Plus, he had like way better villain speeches. Oh yeah, you know, like Infinity War starts and he gives like this promo, like I know what it's like to lose, right? And what's funny about that is his monologues are great. Yeah, he says, you know, turns the legs to jelly. Yeah, and when he loses in Endgame, yeah, the first thing he does is sit down. He sits down. Yeah, yep, yeah. it's fantastic. So full circle. I mean, there have been good villains in the MCU, but but they really don't come close to Thanos. That's why it's hard to like mention. I mean, I liked Incredible Hulk. Uh, I liked Tim Roth in Incredible Hulk. I yeah. know a lot of people were were down on that movie, but I really loved that movie. Yeah. Um, and then seeing him reprise it in uh, Shang Chi, <clears throat> right? Looking cooler. Yeah. You know. Yeah, but I'm I'm so hyped for for Thor. Yeah. I can't wait to see what Christian Bale does because you know it'll be somewhat comedic too because these oh for sure taika watiti you know it's just yeah and he's christian bale could play anyone absolutely he's amazing also uh the a new uh, obi-wan kenobi trailer came out last week and we mm-hmm. got our first tease of darth vader mm-hmm. you know we didn't really see him but we saw like his plate right like going on his chest and uh yeah the show looks really good i love the line when uh Obi Wan is he talking to Luke's father? Or? I didn't. I didn't see the new trailer. Oh, you didn't? No. Oh, okay. Because I, I think he might be talking to Luke's, fa- like his adopted father. His because it's that uncle one. Owen. His uncle. Yeah, yeah, I think he's talking to him because it's I, that actor. Yeah. And oh, uh, Obi Wan is like, when the time comes, he must be trained. And then the guy's like, like you trained his father, and it was right. like, oh, pew, 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 pew. yeah, that was deep, man. Yeah, I love that line, but. Yeah, I'm excited. And that's uh, the end of this month. Right, yeah. First two episodes. Uh, it, it's so nice that Disney doesn't give us very long in between their shows. Yeah. You know, like a few weeks at most. Right. It's like, here's the trailer. The show's coming. Get ready. And you're like, yeah. oh. Well, like, Moon Knight just ended. Right. You know, and Obi-Wan's in a couple weeks. So yeah. it's like, 
got time what to decompress. What the, the next one's probably... Oh, I think uh, Miss Mar- Marvel's coming out like early June. I think so. Early but, June? But I think. I think or it's going to be. I think it's coming. I think it's going to come out while Obi Wan is out. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. But I'm worried about that one. That trailer looked yeah. fucking cringy. They've changed her powers from what they were in the comic. Yeah. So. Um, and, and it looked very Degrassi ish. Right. You know, but. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> sure, right. You know, I'll I'll try anything MCU. Right. You know. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, we all got through Iron Man three. Well, we did. Yeah. Yeah, that was. Oh God, I hate that movie. <laughs> all right. Uh, <coughs> Paramount Plus announced a new Jackass series is coming to their streaming service. Right. Uh, Paramount Global CEO Bob Backish said. Uh, we're working with the creators to continue the partnership with the new series, bringing even more ridiculous antics. Yeah. So I'm, I imagine it'll be mostly the new blood. Right. You know, the new guys from Jackass. I don't right. know if it's yeah. going to be like Steve-O in Knoxville every show. No. I mean, if it was, then I would be interested. But if it's the new guys, I don't know. I just don't care about the new guys. No, nah, really. neither do I. And it's not going to make me get Paramount+. Plus. And they're not really break, going to be breaking any new ground. Yeah. Like everything's kind of been done at this point. If they brought Bam, if Bam Margera somehow got clean. Right. And they brought him back and they're like, Bam's going to be this. Then I'd be like, all right, who's got a Paramount Plus account? Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> all right. I got to You know what I mean? Like that's, I really loved Bam and I, I hope he turns his life around, man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm rooting for the guy, but it's, it's been rough. Also, uh, Netflix is making a comedy series about the last blockbuster location in the world. Oh, the one up in, like, Washington? Is it Washington or is it Alaska? I think it's Washington. Washington? Yeah. Like, Washington State? or Yes, Washington State. Okay, so this stars Randall Park, who played Kim Jong-un in The Interview. Yep. And uh, Melissa Fumero from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. It's crazy. After killing Blockbuster, Netflix has done so much for them. <laughs> right. They put out that documentary, The Last Blockbuster. Yeah. Now they're making a TV show. You know, Blockbuster had the chance to buy Netflix. They did. Like, when Netflix was nothing. Yeah. They did. Yeah. Like, if they did that, we'd all be having the Blockbuster streaming service right now. We would. Yeah. If they were smart enough, but they were there, there would probably still be Blockbuster locations. <clears throat> right, maybe you know, probably not like thirty per city, but right. I mean, at least a couple. Yeah, because I mean, look, I'm not gonna lie, I really miss going to a video store, Me too. walking the aisles, seeing what catches my eye. Yeah, I, I, I still went to video stores up until the time they closed down. Yeah, because there was a Hollywood video uh, mm-hmm. nearby that I would go to, and then one day I went. And it was just closed down. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, I went with my friends. Like, we, yeah. like, we still were like, we were like the last people that still went to video The same stores. thing happened to me. I uh, showed up, tried to open the door. It wouldn't open. And I'm like, shit, I work here. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I worked. I, I was managing the, the game crazy. You know, they used to have the game crazies inside. At Hollywood Video? Uh-huh. Oh, my God. So we went to unlock the door and the locks were changed. So your man, your boss didn't even tell you. No. Wow. The, apparently, like, why we, not tell your employees? I don't. We get that. found out that some stores were closing. Yeah. But they apparently had stopped paying rent on a lot of locations. Okay. And what sucked is I was in like a a big ordeal with the landlord and. Like the, they hired people to liquidate everything inside. Right. I was like, I have personal stuff in there. Yeah. I need to get in. They're like, well, we have to, you know, wait and see, you know, what's going to happen. I'm uh-huh. like, what the shit? Like, I want my stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get your stuff? I eventually did. I was able to get in. They had to like escort me to make sure I wasn't like taking product or whatever. Right. I did take the demo DS though. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I was like, yeah, this is my DS. It didn't say like property <laughs> and it was out of the box. You know? Yeah. Well, they don't need it. Yeah. So, you so. yeah, I have, I have a lot of member berries about Blockbuster. Yeah. I mean, just look at like the logo was so cool. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, and you know, I know you were talking about Hollywood video, but Blockbuster is like the one everyone thinks about. Right. When it comes yeah. to video stores. Yeah. Like 
the logo, the the blue and yellow just looks so cool. Right, it did. And even when you know they they started their own streaming service mm-hmm. after Netflix, and like for a for a couple of years, it was like, oh, get Dish Network, and it comes with the Blockbuster streaming service. Yeah, but no one cared. No, at that point, right. But yeah, I, I don't know. I, I uh, I'm interested to see what this is. Sure, what this yeah. show is. I, I I like Randall Park. He's funny. It's got to be like just in like a small town where. Sure. You know what I mean, yeah, absolutely. There was still a video store in Stafford, Texas, and I was and I and it was still up and running. And I just recently went back to Stafford, and it's gone now. Like it oh, really? finally yeah. was gone. There was uh, there was a guy. Maybe COVID killed it. Yeah, there was a guy who opened like in like his own like video store for like the neighborhood. Yeah, it was running out DVDs, and. Um, you know, I would go and rent, try to support him, and then eventually he closed down. Right. Yeah. Yep. It's sad. It is. All right, moving on. Deadline reports that uh, Incredible Hulk director Louis Leterrier, I don't know, he's French. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Leterrier? Sure. I don't sure. Know. He's taken over directing for Fast 10 after Justin Lin left the film. Yeah. Uh, we talked about this last week. Justin Lin walked out, and I was like, just speculating that it was because of Vin Diesel, and then Josh quickly pulled up a report yeah. that was confirmed that it said it was because of Vin Diesel because he, he's an he asshole. He wasn't fired; he was let go of the family. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I like the Incredible Hulk. You yeah. Know, so I'm sure this movie will be fine. Sure. As long as it's fucking ridiculous, as they always right. are. I'm still mad it wasn't called Fast Ten. Your seatbelts. Yeah. How do you not do that? Come on. It's too easy. easy. So easy. So easy. Uh, we saw the teaser trailer for Avatar The Way of the Water. Meh. For uh, Doctor Strange, and it was very meh. Yeah. Um, I'm not excited about this movie. It, the, the thing is, the graphics look the same from 2009. Right. It should be like Avatar. It should be, instead of Avatar The Way of the Water, it's Avatar. Do you still care? <laughs> exactly. It's been 13 years, man. Yeah. Like, I think I watched it in the theater, and then I never watched it again. I loved it when I saw it in theaters, and then I bought the Blu-ray. I was uh-huh. in my early 20s. I bought the Blu-ray, and it's, it's, you know, it's a beautiful movie. It looks amazing, but the plot is so bad. It is. And, like, now, you know, now that I'm older, like, I'm more aware of just cringy dialogue. Right. And the unobtainium. Which was a, they put, that was a placeholder in the script. They were like, okay, we need a name for this element or whatever. Yeah. Uh, let's just make it unobtainium for an unobtainium. Mm-hmm. And they just never changed the right. placeholder yeah. for it. So, I don't know. There's like four more, it's like, there's like four of these movies coming out every year. Ugh. Avatar 2, 3, 4, and 5. <laughs> The way so this one's the way of the water, and the next yeah. one's going to be about fire. Right. Next one, Earth. Yeah. Next one, air. <laughs> and then uh, Captain Planet. Captain Planet will show up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that'll be good. No, I don't know. I'll probably see it, but I don't know. I'm not. I'm not that excited for it. Yeah. I am excited about this though. Justified City Primeval. Oh. Uh, to begin filming this month. Timothy Oliphant is returning as Raylan Givens. Yeah. So excited. Ho, 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 ho. You saw it, Justified, right? I've seen some of it. I need to pick it back up. I love it. It's one of my favorite shows. Yeah. There were reports that Quentin Tarantino was going to direct a couple of episodes, uh, but he might have backed out, so I'm not really sure about that. Okay. But that would be fucking sweet, too. Yeah. And uh, the synopsis is the show picks up eight years after Raylan left Kentucky. He now lives in Miami, balancing his life as a U.S. Marshal and a father of a 15-year-old girl. And he gets sent to Detroit to go after a violent criminal. So I guess it's set in Detroit. I don't know. Yeah. But if you haven't watched Justified, I would watch it. It's fucking awesome. And Walton Goggins is in it, too. And oh, he's, he's well, phenomenal. Sold. It's the first time I saw him in anything. Yeah. But yeah, I, I'm so excited this is coming back. Right. Because Raylan Givens is like a superhero, like for a U.S. Marshal. Like, you just don't fuck with Raylan Givens. No. Every season, like, I think there were five seasons, and and every season there's a new bad guy that's like, all right, we need to kill Raylan Givens, and then you're just like, you fucked up, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's you're not going to do it. It's, it's so great. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. 
But that's all the uh, Hollywood hogwash I have. So uh, let's get to why we're all here. So, yeah. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. So I got a report here about the uh, the opening weekend numbers uh-huh. so far. Yeah. Uh, weekend gross is a hundred and. 85 million. Okay. Which that's domestic. Yes. Which is more than double the first Dr. Strange. Right. That had a 85 million weekend. Yeah. And it's also the seventh biggest Marvel opening. Okay. But it is the biggest Marvel opening without Spider-Man or Avengers in the title. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Wow. So that's pretty cool. So the other six are Avengers or Spider-Man. <laughs> Correct. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. That makes sense. Yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah, that's domestic 185 million. And so, global, I think was like 400. Oh, I'm not sure. I, I don't see the global numbers. I saw, here. I saw global. I think it was 400. But okay. Yeah. It's, it's obviously doing very well. Right. As expected. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of mixed reviews about this movie. Right. I loved it. I loved it. We both loved it. Yeah. I saw it with Josh. He loved the movie, too. Mm -hmm. Um, I saw it with a group of friends. Everyone loved it. Yeah. And I even like it more than Spider-Man No Way Home. Yeah. I know that's probably not how everyone feels. What do you think? Um, I think I like Spider-Man a little bit more. Okay. But, I mean, this had... A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of fan service. And yeah. it tied... I think this is the best movie that has tied together the MCU television shows. Yes, that's true. Because this really pulls from What If. Yeah. It pulls from WandaVision. Yep. Um, I mean, kind... Yeah, you know, a little bit from Loki because it's the multiverse. Right, yeah. And- but yeah, I mean, the way it was it was done was, was really well. It's a very Sam Raimi movie, which is great. Uh, it's oh, when I was watching it the first time, I was like, Sam Raimi is back. Yeah, and it, for me, it feels like it's like redemption for Spider Man Three. Right. Yeah. Like Sam Raimi got his redemption for Spider Man Three. Like, sorry about that movie, but I'm back, baby. Yeah. And I I really hope he does the next Doctor Strange movie or whatever sure. it is because he was a replacement director, right? He wasn't was he? originally announced as the director. I'm not sure about that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. But no, I, I think for me, it's my favorite MCU film since Endgame. Uh, for me personally. Okay. Because what have we had since Endgame? We've had Spider-Man No Way Home. We've Far From Home. Thi- or, I'm sorry, Far From Home. Uh, we've had this. Uh, what other MCU movies have we had? Well, we've had No Way Home and Far From Home, both of them. Oh, both of those, yeah. right. Uh, we had uh, Eternals, yeah. uh, Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi. Yeah, I think I think for me, it, this is my favorite one since Endgame. I still love Infinity War and Endgame are still my two top yeah. MCU movies. Yes. But this is my favorite since. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't blame you on that either. Yeah, I mean, so, I, I still think Spider Man Far From Home's my favorite since, but this is easily number two, and it's not far from being number one. I think that I think the problem with me for Spider Man is I like I love the character so much uh-huh. that when something bad happens to him, like, uh, and like I just get really upset about it. Yeah. You know? So yeah, but all right, let's get into it. Uh, we've, so oh, sorry. Uh, there was a d- director change. Um, okay. The director, someone Derrickson, okay, uh, stepped down in January of 2020, citing creative differences with uh, someone in there. And then Raimi joined the next month start- and started basically started the movie over. Right. Interesting. So we learned about the other Doctor Strange. There were three Doctor Strange variants, and they were all kind of shitty people. Yeah, and they all died. Yes, and well, then yeah, no, yeah, yeah, every Doctor died. Strange yeah. variant, right? <laughs> like the first one we see, like he dies right away. I'm like, oh, he's weak as fuck. It's like, oh, this is like Jet Li's the one. <laughs> I never saw that. But oh. I guess that's a lot basically of- it's like he goes universe to universe, killing himself. Oh Jesus! So he could be the only one and have all the. 
power of all of them. Right. Yeah. But like just talking about the characters, like obviously Doctor Strange is the star. Wanda was like, I mean, uh, Elizabeth Olsen's performance as Wanda. Right. I thought was great. Definitely the best Wanda she's done in any of her MCU roles. I think she had the best performance in the movie. Yeah. Like acting wise. Mm -hmm. I love how she uses her magic with her hands. Like, just how she moves her hands, right? When like, and you can tell when she's angry and she does it differently. Mm-hmm. I like how physical, like the like, because you know you're using magic, so it's all pretend. You're not physically hitting anyone. Right. I like how Doctor Strange and Wanda use their hands to make it dramatic. Like one thing about the first few X Men movies with Mag- with Ian McKellen as Magneto mm-hmm. is like everything was so easy for him. Right. Like when he would, and I get it, he's a master at that point. But he would move some, he'd just be like that. But then when they did the prequels, and it's um, right, it's uh, what's his name? Uh, God, I, I he's like my, one of my favorite actors, Michael Fassbender. Michael Fassbender, and he's like so dramatic when he moves his hands right. and everything. That, like that's so great, I loved it. Yeah, so I love how physical they are with their hands. Yeah, like, pretending to do things. But yeah, Wanda was great. Uh, America Chavez. This is the first time we're seeing this character. Uh, I knew nothing about her, uh-huh. uh, but I feel like she fit in very well. Like she was charming. She was like a she was like an adorable teenager, you know. Yeah. Like you're always worried when they bring a new character and like all of a sudden she's just there. Yeah. But I, I felt like yeah, she, she the girl fit who played in. her was was great. Yeah. You know. Right. But uh, okay, so I guess going in chronological order, like after that, you know, Doctor Strange has that dream. We see that asshole at the wedding. Was he in the first one? He was. He was the doctor that like was like, no, this this patient's dead. Like, f- forget about it. And Doctor Strange is like, no, he's not. You're just a shitty doctor. Okay. Yeah, he's the doctor that he upstaged in the very beginning okay, of the gotcha. first one. Yeah, it's been so long. That right, I forget, right, right. But I figured he probably was. Yeah. But like. Everyone knows exactly what happened in Infinity War and Endgame. Right. Like, everyone in the world knows that Doctor Strange gave Thanos. Like, mu- they must have made him, like, do a press conference. <laughs> All right, guys, like a, let's break down what happened. <laughs> there was, like, a 60 Minutes special. Yeah. It's, like, coming up on 60 Minutes. And, like, Doctor Strange is like, yeah, I just gave Thanos the... I have- uh, I gave him the... I the, saw 14 million different possible outcomes, and I, that I, was the only one we won. Yeah, and I, I gave him the, the time stone. Did Doctor Strange make the right move? Come right. next. Dateline. <laughs> and also, Doctor Strange, maybe it's not the best time to like profess your love for Christine at her wedding. No, that's the best time. The best time. Also, I love his big fuck you to Jesus. Because Christine walks up to the bar <laughs> and wants red wine, and Doctor Strange is like, allow me. And he yeah. turns... Her water into yeah. wine? Right. Yeah. He's Jesus. So, yeah. And then she's like, are you happy? And he's like, yeah. He, you know, he lies. He's like, yeah, I am. And, then, and she's like, oh, you know, it was never going to work out between us. You have to hold the knife. But I'm glad you're happy. And <laughs> as she caresses his chest. Right. Oh, I'm so glad you're happy. I'm happy, too. Yeah. Let me just stroke yeah. your dick and walk away. Right, yeah. We're never going to fuck again. And she, like, tugs his nuts. <laughs> Right. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, then we, we have that one eyed monster fight again. Yeah. I love uh, I love Dr. Strange's like head into the battle. Like he finishes his drink. Yeah. And then uh, like pulls out his little pocket square and that's his cape. Right. And he throws it on. He just jumps off the balcony and like floats down. Yeah. Yeah. The pull to the eye was nice. That was a little intense. Oh, it was. Uh, the first showing, everyone cringed when that... Right. Everyone was like, oh! He ends up, like, throwing a light pole, using magic to throw a light pole into this creature's eye. Yeah. And not only that, and then he pulls it out. So, yeah, like, the that's right. giant eyeball just gets, like, ripped out of this thing's face. That's right. You know? Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah. Like that. Um, I don't know if that was, like, an actual monster from the comics. I, I heard, like, rumors that it might be... So my understanding of it was it was supposed to be Shoma Gorath. Okay. Which, you know, I'm not too familiar of it in the comics. Yeah. I mainly know it from, like, the Marvel versus Capcom video games. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. But that's what everyone is saying that 
It is. It just it wasn't called that. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So when they're ta- like they're sitting down at the restaurant and they're talking, you know, Wong, Strange, and America. She says like like all of our dreams are multiverse alternate realities. Basically, it's like you're looking into a different multiverse. All of our dreams mm-hmm. or something. Wow. Yeah. Because I've had some pretty fucked up dreams. Well, even Wong says, well, so the, the dream that I keep having <laughs> where I'm naked and being chased by a clown. Yeah. He's like, yeah, that's happening somewhere. <laughs> like, fuck, I don't want to go there. I had a dream like just recently that me and Josh robbed a bank. Yeah. And then we were like figuring out like how we should launder the money. And we were also we were also like in the middle of a Breaking Bad episode. So we were like, we need to call Saul Goodman. Oh, so in an alternate reality, Saul Goodman's real. Uh huh. Like that's amazing. Yeah. Now, did you start a podcast on bank robbing and money laundering? <laughs> I don't think so. Because that would be on, on, you know, on brand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, the you know the the Wanda heel turn. Doctor Strange goes to visit her. Yeah. And we have a Wanda heel turn. Yeah. Everything looks so nice. She's like trimming apple trees and blossoms yeah. and. She fucks up, you know, because Dr. Strange is explaining the situation with America. Yeah. And then she fucks up because she says, well, what if you brought America Chavez here? Yeah. And then she's like, you never told me her name, did you? He's like, no, you bitch. Yeah. And then she undoes the spell and makes everything look red and scary. And, you know, that was pretty cool. And obviously, like her one excuse for, I mean, you know, she murders so many people in this movie. Uh Uh-huh. But it's because she has the dark hold and it corrupts everyone it touches, kind of like the ring and Lord of the Rings, right? Sure. But like, how does Wanda have kids in every other universe and who's the father? Correct. That's what I want to know. And how are they the same kids? How are they the same kids? Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's one question because it's like Vision can't be the father, right? Can he evolve to produce semen that produces- penis <laughs> does he have like a vibranium vibranium penis yeah yeah i don't know That's also interesting- i thought it was gonna be that the dark hold was like fucking with her yeah like she doesn't really have kids and the dark hold's like oh you know because it's right yeah so she wants she wants america's power to navigate the multiverse so she can go to one where she has her kids yeah and what she said was every other universe Every single other Every one. Every other universe she has kids. This is the only one where she doesn't have children. Yeah. So. It's weird. My One of my favorite lines in the movie was Dr. Strange where he's like, your kids aren't real, Wanda. You created your kids with magic. And she says, that's what every mother does. Yeah. That I was like good. that. That was right. a good line. Like, I feel like if you were going to explain this movie badly to someone. Yeah. You would say, a woman proves she'll do literally anything to have a child. <laughs> right. Yeah. Couldn't she just get knocked up in this reality by someone? Right. I mean, you know? I'd go dick her down. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We all volunteer. I'm sure there's plenty of volunteers. <laughs> <I'd> volunteers tribute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty of people that would be willing to do that. Right. I will literally give you a baby. Does it have to be those kids who sing the fucking corny ice cream song? Yeah. Fuck those kids. They're dorky as <laughs> we shit. We want ice cream. <laughs> like, what? Right, the fucking was, lollipop guild. That was so fucking crazy. Yeah. Yeah, Wanda's brutal in this movie. She is. It's good to see, like, a cool, brutal side Talk of about Wanda. Great villains. <laughs> she's up there. Uh, yeah, you yeah. You know? But uh, the scene where she's, like, reaching through the water and reflections to grab people. Right. It kind of reminded me of, like, Freddy Krueger. Yeah. Because he would reach out of things and grab people and shit. Right. Yeah, I think one of the things I find the oddest about the way she got her powers is her and her brother both got powers from the Mind Stone, correct? But her powers are more reminiscent of the Reality Stone. Right. You know? Yeah. Like when she removes the whole like fake orchard blossom place, Mm -hmm. it looks like when Thanos revealed that he had already burned nowhere to the ground. That's true. In Infinity War. Right. You know? Yeah. And also like... We find out at that one place, right, where they have, like, her throne. Uh-huh. And it was, like, a prophecy that the, that she's the Scarlet Witch. Yeah. But how is... I, I don't... That's a little confusing to me. 
Right. Because she was created by the Mind Stone. How is it like, well, oh, she was always supposed to be this this and... Right. Well, didn't, um, what is it, uh, Catherine Hans, uh, Agatha yeah. Harkness say that you always had the magic, it's just the Mind Stone enhanced it? Okay. Well, I guess that makes more sense. I guess so. Yeah. I uh, like when she like crawled out of the gong and she looked, uh, it, was like, was, it was like the girl from the ring. That you know? was like, crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, we have a re- really cool shot of when Strange and America were falling through different universes. Right. And like each time you're just like, oh, I want, I want to see that. No. Oh, I wanna, what, what happens no, there? No, stay there. Right. Oh, the cartoon one? Oh, my God. Right. And then there's one where they're they're paint. They're just paint. And he's like, was there a universe where we're just paint? And she's like, yeah, you don't want to go to that one. It's, it's hard. hard to eat. Right. Did you ever see uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? No. No. I never saw well, it. Well, there's one where they have, like, a, a hyperdrive or an improbability drive. Yeah. And there's one where they all turn into, like, yarn people for a minute. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It kind of reminded me of that. But, like, if... That was one of my goals watching it the second time. I want to look closely at each like universe that kind of pop through. Right. You know, there was one that looked pretty normal to ours, but there right. was one where it was like very like 1920s black and white. Uh huh. I'm like, oh, that's like Spider Man Noir. Hey, where are you guys going? <laughs> it's me, Spider Man. I'm, I'm Nicolas Cage. Take me, take me with you. I'm Nicolas Cage, Spider Man. Go see my new movie where I play myself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, there's one that looked like, uh, maybe like the 2099 universe, like very dark, but mm. neon lights. Oh yeah. It was futuristic. Yeah. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. But we end up in an alternate New York with, uh, grass and flowers everywhere. Right. Well, it's funny cause we were talking about it. It's like where normally like buildings are yeah. black, gray, white, whatever. All the buildings are very colorful, and everyone, all the people here, yeah. wear bla- black, gray, or white, yeah. and they all wear hats. All hats. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I want to know what pizza balls are. I know, right? I'm hoping that's what the next Binging with Babish is. I don't know if you ever watched that YouTube show <laughs> no. where like, he makes food from like movies oh, and TV shows. Yeah. Like he's done um, like ones from The Simpsons, like Homer's Waffle. Okay. And he's like, the one that Homer made is is god awful. <laughs> so let me refine it a little bit. Yeah. You know. But that would be really cool if he made pizza balls. Pizza balls. I will try to make those. Yeah. Yeah. And Pizza Papa is like my new favorite character. Oh, pizza Papa. He needs his own Disney uh, plus show. Absolutely. Pizza Pop Bruce Campbell. We we're all wondering what he's gonna be. Is he gonna be Mysterio? Is he gonna be a variant of Nick Fury? Is he gonna be on the freaking uh uh, Illuminati board. Yeah. No. no, he's Pizza Papa. Pizza Papa. But still amazing. Still absolutely amazing. Uh, as well as his post credit scene oh. at the end where he's punching himself. Whoa, 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 whoa. And then whoa. he gets back. Well, it's not important to the movie. But. Well, I, well, you have to set up like what happens with him in this universe. Yeah. So I mean, America grabs these like pizza balls. Yeah. And she's like, and he's like, oh, where'd you get those? Dr. Strange. It's like, where'd you get those? She's like, oh, Food's free here. Yeah. It's actually free in most universes. It's weird that yours makes people pay for it. Right. And then you see Bruce Campbell as Pizza Papa. He's like, hey, you didn't pay for that. Pizza Papa always gets his pay or something like that. He always like, gets his money. Yeah. Dr. Strange is like, calm down, Pizza Papa. Right. And uh, makes him squirt mustard in his face. Yes. And then he casts a spell on that makes him punch himself. Yes. In the face repeatedly. For three weeks. For three weeks. Yeah. Yeah. And the post credit scene at the very end, yeah. everyone's like, what's going to be the final scene? Like after the credits and he's punching himself, he finally gets control back from his hand and he's like, <laughs> it's over. Just looks right into the camera. <laughs> it's over. And then, uh, and then that's it. Fade to black. Or- the first showing when I saw it on Thursday, everyone laughed and everyone enjoyed it. And then right. when we saw it Saturday, everyone in the theater was pissed off. Oh, they gr- there was such a groan. They're like, oh, what a waste. It yeah. was like, that was hilarious. It was great. I loved it. Yeah. You know, it reminded me of like the one in a Spider-Man Homecoming mm-hmm. with Captain oh, America. Yeah. Captain America. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. Uh, we find out about America's childhood mm-hmm. and America's mothers, plural, are why the movie wasn't released in some countries. I think China and Saudi Arabia yeah. were a couple because of 10 seconds 
Just because this girl has two mothers. Because she implies that she has two moms. Yeah. You know, they're not like tonguing they don't even kiss or anything it's just like yeah you're standing next to each other and you're watching the movie you're like okay yeah like no big deal right and it's just like man i'm just glad they didn't cave to these countries because they used to like disney and all of them used to cave to china all the time and they would heavily edit their movies for china yeah so it's nice that they're not doing that anymore right so that's good um when wanda takes over like the variant wanda the first time, uh huh, and she looked. She looks at that picture, and like Wanda in the picture, like turns and looks in the camera. That was creepy as that shit. That was creepy. Oh my god, that was awesome. Yeah, I loved all the Sam Raimi stuff. Like, yeah, you could just tell. Like, oh yeah, Sam Raimi, amazing. And then we finally get to the best part. What everyone's looking forward to is Doctor Strange. The Illuminati will see you now. Yeah. So basically, him in. Wanda and not Wanda, uh, America and Doctor Strange are like, we need to go find the Doctor Strange of this universe. Yeah. So they go to the sanctum and there's a giant statue of Doctor Strange. Right. And uh, it says, like, in memory of Earth's greatest hero who died fighting Thanos. Yeah. You know, or defeating Thanos. Yes. And so the sanctum door opens and it's Baron Mordo, Mm -hmm. who is thrilled to see Doctor Strange. Yes. Yeah, so they hug, and then they're talking and talking about the multiverse, and then you find out he drugs their tea. Yeah, he date rapes them. Date rapes them, <laughs> so he can take them to the Illuminati. The Illuminati. Yes, where we have uh, Black Bolt. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Sorry, hold on. Who are you? <laughs> I didn't know who that was. <laughs> right. So I, I, I was familiar with Black Bolt because of Inhumans and whatnot. Yeah. It's actually the same actor that was in the short-lived Black Bolt's TV show. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, I didn't even know about that. Yes. Uh, we have Captain Carter from What If. That was amazing. We have Captain... Played by Haley Atwell. Yes. Yeah. We have Captain Marvel. Uh-huh. Uh, a variant of her. Right. It's Monica Rambo. Right. Uh-huh. And uh, obviously Professor X. Yes. Patrick Stewart. And Her- Reed Richards, played by... Uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Jim Halpert. <laughs> John, Krasinski. Uh, John Krasinski. Yeah. Yes. Which has been like a, a demand from Marvel fans. Right. For years. Yeah. Even he's been like campaigning for it. Yeah. And his suit looked awesome. It did. Like he looked really cool. He looked like, great. And the smartest man in the universe, Dr. Reed Richards. And then like this like portal opens up and like goes up and he's like, hey. Right. He's like, hey guys. Yeah. And then finally we see Professor X roll up in the wheelchair and not only end and and not any wheelchair from the 90s cartoon, the wheelchair from the 90s cartoon. Yeah. And the second time we watched, that was one of the things where Eric was like, we have to listen because I heard that they play the X-Men theme song, the 90s cartoon X-Men theme song when he's rolling up. And sure enough, they did. They do. It was like a slow version. It was like like very symphonic. Na, 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 na. We were like, oh my God, bust yeah, a nut. We're- <laughs> yeah. Bust a nut. Yeah. It was fantastic. It was. And then I loved uh, like hearing their story about how they fought Thanos. Right. And uh, we saw. Because it makes like- it seem like it was literally just the six of them. Right. Like the Illuminati, like with their Doctor Strange. Yeah. And like they kind of go and they show you a vision of like. Yeah. The after battle and Thanos is laying there with his sword like through his chest. Right. Yeah. Very cool. Right. And that Doctor Strange uh, used the dark hold, right? He did. So they killed him for it. Yes. Because he fucked shit up. They had a uh, black, bo- black, black bolt, bolt. Uh, whisper, I'm sorry. Yeah. Which that's his power. His voice can like destroy the slightest whisper can destroy anything. Yeah. You know, right. so he uh, basically obliterates their strange. They keep his cloak, though. They do. They want that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Then Wanda shows up because she wants America. And uh, uh, John Krasinski's like, the building's been breached. Dr. Strange is like, no shit, genius. (laughs) That was great. And then I really freaked out when uh, Patrick Stewart said one of his lines from X-Men Days of Future Past. Oh, yeah. He's like, just because someone stumbles and loses their way. 
does it mean they're lost forever? And I was like, oh, I love that. That was so good. That was great. And then we watched Wanda brutally murder the Illuminati. Uh, <laughs> and by brutally, that's like caps and underlined. If you've seen Invincible, I don't want to really say anything, but it reminded me about that one scene in Invincible. Right. So it was brutal, man. So basically, the Illuminati, it, well, it's Captain Carter, Captain yeah. Marvel, Black Bolt, right. Mr. Fantastic. I guess Mordo is okay. He's the only one left. He didn't get killed. I guess so. so Puss, what a pussy. Pussy. Yeah. So they, they kind of cut off Wanda. Yeah. And they're like, and, you know, Reed Richards is trying to talk sense into her. Yep. And she's not having it. And he says, Black, Wanda, Black Bolt can destroy you with one whisper from his mouth. Yep. And she goes, what mouth? What mouth? And then it zooms out on Black Bolt. Mm-hmm. And she's removed his mouth. Yeah, it's like the scene in The Matrix. Yeah. Where they, they remove Neo's mouth. Yeah. He's like, what is there to say when, you know, I forgot the quote. But right. Yeah. So basically, he uh, he's, he's <laughs> and then blows a hole through his own head. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, fucking crazy. blood pours out of his nose and fills up his eyes and he drops dead. Yep. And so uh, Reed there was Richards, also Reed Richards, before before he dies, he's he's like Wanda, come on, like, and she's like, do you have kids? Uh, yes. Is their mother still alive? She is. And she goes, good. There will be someone left to raise them. And yeah. He's like, oh my god. So he goes to you stretchy bitch. grab at her. Yep. And she pushes his arm back. Yeah. And then basically just starts unraveling him. Yeah. Until there's nothing. Right. And then. His head explodes. Yeah. Like, pop. It's like, right. oh, okay, cool, John Krasinski. Yeah. Please, Hopefully a variant of please you. Please come back. Hopefully there's a variant of you for the Fantastic Four movie. Right. Or they're just like, yeah, no, he's dead. No, <laughs> no, we gave you what you wanted. Yeah. That's it. Right. Yeah. Uh, I, was, I was saying that it would have been really funny if right before his head exploded, he did like the office thing. <laughs> yeah. Just look in the camera like, mm. mm. <laughs> Oh, God yeah. damn it. You know, that could be a possible director. He could be a possible director for Fantastic Four. Yeah. Since uh, John Watts backed out. Right. I, w- I wouldn't mind it. Sure. Both of those uh, Quiet Place movies were good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then when Captain Carter fights Wanda, she says the line, where Wanda says, haven't you had enough? And then Captain Carter says, I could do this all day. Oh, that was very cool. That was a busting up moment. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, Captain Marvel is, this Captain Marvel is definitely not as strong. I feel like as, she, she as, only has uh, her powers when her mask is on. Okay. Yeah. Like, that's what it just seemed like to me. Because the Captain Marvel in our universe you know, she's fucking Superman, basically. Basically, yeah. And this one just gets crushed by a giant statue. Right. And that's it. Yeah. And then we have to watch Professor X die in a movie for the third Did time. you talk about Captain Carter's death? Oh, no, I did not. So she goes to throw her shield at yeah. Wanda. Wanda's like, <laughs> okay. And then just spins around and throws it back at her and halved her. Ha- yeah. I've, I've been, been halved. I've been halved. Yeah. Oh, no. We should Which listened. is like... Oh, we should have listened to Doctor Strange. Yeah, which I, I think Magneto may have done that to Captain America in the comics. I don't know. Okay. Seems like something he could do. Yeah. It, it reminded me of what Ultron said. He was like, the most powerful material in the world, and they turned it into a Frisbee. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. So again, third time we've seen Professor X die. Yeah. We've seen him die in X-Men The Last Stand. Mm-hmm. Saw him die in Logan. And now we saw him die in this one. Yeah. It's Wanda just snapped his fucking neck in her mind. Yeah. And if it happens in his mind, it happened for real. I guess so. Jesus. Yeah. And then Wanda chasing Strange, America, and Christine. That gave me a fear boner. I don't know sure. about you. Yeah, no, it was like great. Like, she was looking creepy, but hot at the very, same time. Very, very horror movie vibes. Yeah. Yeah. And then finally, Doctor Strange, they go into another universe, and Doctor Strange faces off against, I wouldn't call him Supreme Strange, because he's not the same one. No. But he is an evil, like a super evil Doctor Strange It variant. seems like he's been more exposed to the Darkhold. Right. And they have a magical music fight. They do. Which was, I liked. That was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like it starts with just like a few notes and yeah. then very symphonic. Right. And then the best version of Strange is when he uh, 
he takes control of the one that died in the beginning. Yes, basically doing what Wanda did to kill the Illuminati. They call it dreamwalking. Yes. Yeah, taking over another variant of yourself. A dead one. So, yeah, he and takes over a dead one. Zombie Strange. Yes. And Zombie Strange was awesome. And the souls of the dam were like, Steven Strange. <laughs> yeah. Basically, <laughs> it takes over that sucky one you see at the beginning. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, he looked awesome. Uh, America takes Wanda to her kids who are afraid of her, and that breaks her heart. And that mm -hmm. was, like, the key because, obviously, no one can actually defeat the Scarlet Witch. Right. So, like, that was, like, the workaround to this is how we beat her. Yeah. So that it shows that her kids are afraid of her. I mean, if she was smart, she would have been like, well, that's just this universe. Show me another one. Yeah, right. They're not afraid of me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I brought you presents and puppies. <laughs> They're like, we love you. Right. So, yeah, Wanda decides what, she, you know, she realizes what she's done and she destroys that throne, that whole fucking place. And she destroys right. the dark hole. So I pointed out to Andrew. Possibly like, dies. Possibly dies. It, like the whole thing structure collapses. And then like right as it collapses, there's like a big burst of chaos energy. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll who see. knows what may have I teleported mean, she's out. Sure, it sure seems like she chose death. Right. And it's not like she can become good again because she murdered too many innocent people. Yeah. So she could never really, I guess Loki did too, but she was pretty evil. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but at the end, everything seems fine. Stephen Strange fixes the watch that Christine gave him and then he puts it away. It's like, okay, you're not going to wear it. Right. Well, he has a phone. Yes, yeah. Like That's everyone right. else. You know, the scene where like we see him give her the watch, I told he was like, Christine, and then I whispered to Eric, I was like, Christine, I have a phone. Yeah. The <laughs> fuck do I need a watch for? Right. <laughs> but yeah, Stephen Strange goes for a walk and then he has a lot of pain in his head and the fucking third eye shows up in his forehead. Yeah. So Woo! Maybe he's gonna be turning heel at some point. Well, so here's the thing. Here it shows up and he's like, oh, my God, I'm dying. Right. And then the post credit scene happens. Yes. Charlize Theron shows yes. up. Yeah. As uh, I don't know who that is. Uh, what was her name? Like, did she say she didn't say, but it's like on IMDb. I don't and know. It's, it, like, apparently she's another love interest in the okay. comics of his. All right. Sarah, Clara, whatever. Like Clara. Anyway, so we'll she's like, you out. fucked up this. We need to go. And she, like, slices into the multiverse with yeah. her sword. Right. And then he's like, okay. And his scarf becomes his cape. Yeah. And then his third eye opens. And he's like, let's do it. Yeah. So he figured it out pretty quick, I guess. Pretty quick. Yeah. And so, I think it was because he was like, well, you're hot. All right, I'll go. All right, yeah. You want to yeah. see my third eye? Sounds good. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm definitely interested in that movie or TV show where they're going to a bunch of different universes and fixing shit. Sure, absolutely. Either oh, one. that sounds awesome. Yeah. And bring Sam Raimi back. Please. 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 We need Please it. Please and thank you. <laughs> so, there you go. Let's do some fan questions. Yeah. Uh, Noah WW, do you think anyone could beat the Scarlet Witch one-on-one? -on -one? Could you make a case for Thanos or Captain Marvel, the real version? But honestly, I can't see any of them doing it. I mean, no, she's supposed to be the most powerful one. Right. right? I mean, she went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Thanos. She broke his thing, and she only really got knocked out because he had to fire missiles from Rain his ship. fire. Yeah. And she didn't have full power yet at that point. No. But could Jean Grey as Phoenix, like, who would be more powerful? I feel like... She's pretty powerful as so well. So in the comics, at one point, Scarlet Witch goes, no more mutants. Uh -huh. And apparently that stopped more mutants from happening. Uh -huh. And I think even got rid of some existing ones. Okay. So she's, I think, the most powerful. Right. Yeah. You know. Old Greg said, love the tunnel scene. Very horror movie feel. Yes. Agreed. The Rizzler, at one point in the movie, I thought for sure Bill and Ted were going to show up <laughs> in a time-traveling phone booth. Not sure what to say about Doctor Strange 2, other than it was definitely fucking strange. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people didn't really love the movie. Yeah. Uh, there's more of these here. Kevin Key, name a better Mother's Day movie than Multiverse of Madness. Ooh. Mother is willing to do anything to get her children back, even if they aren't her real children. Wow, wow, wow. Deep end of the ocean, eat your heart out. I never saw that movie. Neither but, do yeah. I. Jonathan Loreno, where the fuck was the goat Nicolas Cage's Ghost Rider? Oh. 
Uh, all in all, I love the movie, and the best thing is that it's only the beginning of what's to come. That's true. Yeah. Maybe the next one's Multiverse of Insanity. Yeah. I would like that. Uh, Carlos Ramirez, what kind of white people shit was that? Wanda's kids singing the ice cream song is 30 seconds of my life I want back. <laughs> uh, hey, agreed. it's an ice cream song. Yeah. <clears throat> Omar, where do I start with this disappointing movie that I had highest ex- the highest expectations for? I thought it was going to start right after Spider-Man, but it didn't even mention the spell. Well, it briefly did. Yeah, he did mention um, Spider-Man. And the level of disrespect given to my X-Men brethren, especially Charles Xavier, was absolutely insane. How fucking dare you hit the this is bullshit button and give me a say he raped you, Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man. I think people who were disappointed were also expecting more cameos. Right. Like Tom Cruise. We're all we all kind of figured Tom Cruise was going to be Tony Stark and he wasn't. We really did. But we were really I loved the movie so much that I didn't care. Yeah. So maybe he'll show up at some point. Joseph Ryling, assuming one are you assuming one is dead even though we didn't see her die? I I'm mixed on it. I mean with the multiverse, they could do anything. You can do anything. Yeah. Right. So no one's ever really dead. Yeah. It's Marvel. Right. No one's ever. If really you ever watch uh, Max Landis's video, Superman, uh, death, death, and death, return of Super, Superman. death and return of Superman, he has a good line. He said, you know, they didn't kill Superman. They killed death. Yeah. You know, and he lists like all back. these people who have died and come back in comics. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jeff Worrell, uh, does it bother you that they spent the whole movie trying to get the book of Ashanti and never did? That's pretty funny. It is, right. <laughs> like, the one thing they needed, they didn't get it the whole... Yeah. Yeah. Amir, what's the best one-liner of all time? I am Iron Man, Avengers Assemble, I could do this all day. I could do this all day. That's your favorite? Yeah. I mean, the Avengers Assemble scene... Right. So, it's but like him the saying best Avengers scene. Assemble. That's like the best scene ever, though. It is. It is. I got to go with that. But it's not the best line. Yeah. Wes Albright, is it bad that the main reason... I think it is because we waited like 10 years for him to say it. Uh, or something like that. Wes Albright, is it bad the main reason I said I'd go see Doctor Strange is so I could listen to you guys review it? Um, well, no. If you're not a big superhero fan, I guess not. But hope you liked it yeah pop culture junkie happy, happy mother's day to all the ladies out there in celebration of mother's day what are some of your favorite mom characters in movies or television uh my picks would be uh peggy bundy uh more morticia adams mom uh from christmas story the golden girls and mrs gump see that's funny i uh Put like put a thing in my Instagram story. It says "Happy Mother's Day to all the moms except these." Yeah, and it's Skylar from Breaking Bad. Yeah, Jenny from Forrest Gump, and the mom from The Sopranos. Yeah, they're the worst. Yeah, uh, I would say uh, uh, Sharon. Is it Sharon? No. Um, what's the mom from Terminator Two? What's her first name? John Sarah Car- Connor. Sarah Connor. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, Sarah Connor. She's a mom. Oh yeah, it's pretty terrible. She's great. Sarah Connor? Well, I mean, you saw like the last one, right? Oh, well, come on. Fuck that movie. That's that uh, variant. <laughs> fuck that shit. Multiverse. I mean, from T2. Yeah. Uh, Nathan Smythe was Doctor Strange one or two better. I personally like the first more. Multiverse was underwhelming. I disagree. I would yeah, I say like the second more. two better. Yeah. David Camp, at the end of Spider Man, Doctor Strange used the spell to forget about Peter Parker being Spider Man. Doctor Strange mentions this in the movie. Uh, that he casted a spell fixing it, uh, what he did with Spider-Man and the multiverse. Does this mean Doctor Strange actually remembers everything and the identity of Spider-Man being Peter Parker? No. No, because he just said Spider-Man. He knows that yeah. there was a multiverse thing, but right. he didn't know the identity of him. He just he doesn't remember that. He doesn't know his identity. No yeah. one does. Uh, Tyrone Grizz, how would you rate America's performance? Again, I thought she was charming. Yeah. You know, like a... a Child act. I don't know how old she is in real life, but I I think assume she's playing like a sixteen year old or something like that. Something like that, yeah. But yeah, I thought she was great, and it was cool at the end when she's you know she's learning the magic and everything. Right. She yeah. said a uh, camertage. Right. Very cool. I liked her. That is all for fan questions and comments. So make sure you subscribe to our podcast wherever you're viewing us. We also have exclusive videos. On our YouTube channel, Hollywood Hogwash Pod. Follow the show on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, 
Hollywood Hog Pod. And next week, we will be reviewing episodes four and five of Better Call Saul and the Moon Knight finale. So there you go. Adios. See you next, see you next week. Stay strange. <laughs>